everybody, my name is Miss Cheyenne and I work at the Baysor Library here in Greencastle, which is a branch of the Franklin County Library System, and today I'm going to read a special Christmas story for you called Santa Baby by Jonathan Stutzman, illustrated by Heather Fox. There were only four days until Christmas, and Santa Claus was feeling old. Hmm. Santa was old, of course. He had been Santa for hundreds and hundreds of years, but this year his beard seemed whiter, his wrinkles more wrinkly, his belly less jolly and more jelly. Every year it was the same, wrangling the reindeer, climbing rooftops and chimneys, lugging and reaching and bending and stooping to deliver all those presents and it had taken a toll on Santa. Here's his back and it says clack when he's bending over. For the first time in centuries Santa Claus did not feel the Christmas spirit. He felt only the ache of his body. Ho ho ow. Santa tried to be jolly but holiday festivities only made his feet knees, back, ears, face, and fingers hurt. Poor Santa. Santa was sour and sore, but all the children in the entire world were counting on him, so he did something he had never done before. He called upon the magic of Christmas and made a wish. Make me young again! What? Womp. And younger he grew, wow, and younger, womp, whoa, and just right, womp, whatever, and too young until Santa was a baby. Mama? Santa baby tried to calm the elves. He explained what happened, then laid out an easy three-step plan for how to change himself back to normal. But all the elves heard was, hmm. What do you think they heard from the baby Santa? Gaga goo goo, gaga goo goo, goo 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 goo, gaga gaga goo 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 goo. Christmas was in serious trouble. There were three days until until Christmas and the elves decided to run Santa baby through some tests to see which Santa skills he still had. They started with the ones essential to a successful Christmas, driving the sleigh. Doesn't look like Santa can drive the sleigh very well. Going up and down chimneys poor baby Santa, delivering gifts. It was worse than the elves had imagined. Oh no, much, no, much worse. Oh, Santa unwrapped the present. Zoom, zoom. So they tried something easier. They gave Santa baby his list to check, but instead of checking it, what do you think Santa baby does? Instead of checking it, what do babies like to do? like to put things in their mouths. He chewed his list. Uh-oh. The elves did not think this was very nice. Actually, they found it quite naughty. Finally, the elves tried the easiest test they could think of. Repeat after me. Ho, ho, ho. Can you sound like Santa and say ho, ho, ho? Let's see what Santa baby says. Santa did not pass this test. Goo goo gaga. <laughs> there were two days until Christmas and the elves were desperate. If they were to save Christmas, Santa baby had to grow up and fast. Vegetables, they thought, that would help him grow. Eat your num nums. What does Santa baby say? He says, no. But Santa baby did not want to eat any vegetables. The only num nums Santa baby wanted were cookies. What about milk? Santa baby loved milk, but the only thing that grew was his diaper. Ugh. Christmas was doomed. Here he says, Wee. It was Christmas Eve and all the elves' ideas had failed. Whispers swirled through the North Pole that Christmas would have to be canceled. Nothing's working quite right. Santa baby considered giving up. Hmm. But then he thought about all the children who would wake the next morning with empty stockings and no presents under their trees. So Santa Baby stood up and put on his big boy cap. He knew he had to try. 
Santa. He gathered the elves and laid out another plan. He spoke slower this time with great passion and used hand-drawn diagrams for the visual learners. Gaga, goo 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 mama. <laughs> he actually laid out a pretty good plan. And then, con concentrating his very, very hardest, Santa Baby babbled the three little words he knew would inspire the elves. What do you think are the three words? Do you remember what words they tried to teach him earlier on in the book? Ho, ho, ho. Cheers erupted across the North Pole. With renewed hope, the elves sprang into action. As the clock struck midnight, the elves loaded the final gifts onto the sleigh and buckled Santa Baby into his safety-approved sleigh seat. Off like a flash, the sleigh shot into the night. There's Santa Baby. From house to house they dashed. The presents were placed, the stockings were stuffed. Every num-num was eaten. Everything was going so well. Santa Baby felt like Santa again. But then Santa Baby stumbled and tumbled. Oh no. And hurried down the chimney in fright. Santa Baby bumped his bottom oh, and began to cry. He cried with the fury of a thousand carolers. When Santa Baby opened his eyes, a girl was there. In her hands, she held a gift she had been given on her first Christmas, a gift she cherished more than anything, a gift she gave to Santa Baby. Do you see what the gift is? A little blue bunny. In the soft twinkle of tree light in the arms of a kind child, Santa Baby felt the beauty and wonder of Christmas again, as if for the first time. Look, something magical is about to happen. And before he knew it, whomp, there he is as a teenager. Womp, there he is, a grown man. Womp, now he has a big brown beard. And his belly's quite jolly. Santa was Santa again. Merry old, achy Santa. His beard was white. His wrinkles, wrinkly. His belly, jelly, but jolly. Santa, it's you! In all the Christmases, through all the centuries he had lived, Santa had never felt more full of life. And as he flew off into the frosted night, Santa made another wish, not for himself, but for everyone. No matter how young you are or how old you feel, may you experience the wonder of Christmas as if for the first time again and again and again. The end. So to celebrate Christmas this year, I know it's a little bit different than it usually is, but if you could make a craft or cookies or do something um, to keep your family um, very jolly, maybe some num-nums for Santa or whatever other holiday you celebrate around this time of the year, I hope everybody has a happy holiday and um, come visit your library and check out some books. Thanks. Bye.